Hello, everyone, and welcome to another delightful episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. As you could probably tell from my voice, I've already been having a blast talking to Lynn Jacob. She is, uh, this is her second time on. And I, as we were talking before I hit record, I realized how much I loved talking to her the first time because I found myself, I was looking over at my screen and my face is closer to the camera because I'm just leaning forward and I'm like moving back. And I'm like, I just, I, anyway, I hope you have half as much of a delightful time listening to us talk as I have talking with Lynn so far. Let me reintroduce you to Lynn. For 20 years, Lynn's helped several thousands of technicians turn contractors fi finally have to have successful businesses. Forgive me. How? Okay, let me go through the steps. First, triple profits in under six months. Lynn's trade contractors business training has tried and true, rubber hits the road, simplified business strategies. Finally, her clients join the 20% of business owners with a lucrative retirement. She's helped a lot of people get to where they want to go faster than they thought they ever could is the short version of that. And she'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. Lynn, I am so delighted to have you back. I'm tripping over my words. So Lynn, thank you so much for being here again today. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. It's my pleasure, truly. As I said, it's you bring it out of me as much as I have it to come out like a fire hose. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So when I when I reached out to you to see have it, about having you back on, I asked if you had like I had some ideas for things we can talk about. Obviously, we're still pretty early in 2023 when this is being recorded and when this will post. So there's lots of stuff to talk about there. But you mentioned that you've been obviously you've been working remotely, so to speak, like basically working without an office for a long time now. And that lately you've been traveling more abroad and still running your coaching business with extreme effectiveness and success. And I, th I thought that was an excellent subject for us to talk about today, because that's something I know a lot of coaches either are currently trying to figure out how to do or kind of want to do, but don't really know how to get started or what it's going to be like. So talk a little bit about what your experience has been like operating a thriving coaching business from really around the world. Well, I guess the way it started, because I just had a flash and that's how my stories come. But I was, I was working with a mentor several years ago, several years ago at this, for this story. And, and I was between two events. That's what it was. So I would, I had been at one event for my team. That's what it was. So I had taken my director of operations and we went together and that stuff was over my head. Let me tell you all that backstage stuff but it was for her. So we were there together and then she goes on home. And instead of me going home and in a day or two, catching another flight to come back down to somewhat same area, I just uh, went on to the next city and stayed there at the hotel where the next, where the conference with my mentor would be. And so it was there where I was operating my business. You know, I didn't lose those two days of travel Instead, I was operating my business from there. And this was a number of years ago, but this was in the US. So the internet connection was solid and good and that sort of thing. So it was all good. And I remember that I was having a sales conversation with someone who became, you know, all of my clients are delightful. And I think we worked together for about four years, maybe. But he, he said, he said, what? You're where? <laughs> and all this stuff. And he said, <laughs> He said, and okay, so after you help me turn my business around, then I want you to teach me how to do what you're doing. And so he turned his business around in such a big way that he just continued growing it. We still stay in touch. And no, he's not doing what I do. And he doesn't want to do what I do because he's still having so much more fun than he was ever having before in his business. <laughs> so yeah, and, and it grew like like five times, let's say, in the four years that we worked together, like by by a multiple of five, not yeah. that it grew a little bit five different times, but <laughs> quintupled. So that obviously was me learning how I could do what I had seen when I first uh, was studying coaching. So I was living in Belgium when I first learned of it. And then I went over to the UK because it was just a little hop across the pond. And then I could do it in English for sure, you know, so I was studying in English and I saw, you know, the first three days course or whatever, I saw how, wow, you know, there's so much of this can be done on the phone 
And, hmm. and, and we weren't into computers yet. We're talking 20 years ago. I mean, we certainly had computers, but they had like a tower and all that stuff sitting at your desk. Big fans and everything. <laughs> yeah. So at any rate, when when I saw, you know, that so much of this is done by telephone, you don't have to do it in person. And, and then it went on and on. So when I started my business, but but I saw then that that I would be able to do this in time once I figured it out, coaching. Yeah. And once I had my own business, or maybe I was working remotely. Oh, it's because I was teaching English as a second language in person, as well as on the phone. That's how I saw that was the connection that okay. I saw that I could probably in the future do this by telephone too. So at any rate, then as I'm traveling, and I did for a number of years working with mentors, that I would travel, 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 and there would be days you know, before and afterwards, maybe that it would just be better to go on a Sunday, let's say, and coach my clients on the Monday, and then mm -hmm. go into the conference on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or something like that. And then, and then do whatever on Friday, and then travel again on the weekend when I wouldn't have any client calls or sales yeah. calls or whatever. And nice. I made, I closed lots of sales in <laughs> um, airport uh, lounges, you know, those lounges, because when you're doing that, you're going to, you know, start traveling at a, a different level and you're going to have these lounges. So why not pull out your cell phone or your laptop and start, you know, use the time. Yeah. Your so, office is everywhere you go. <laughs> and I did have a brick and mortar office for a short time and it didn't work so well because when the cat's away, the mice will play. So mm. I was traveling so much and it just, it just didn't work so well. So that's fine. I ended that. And then, so then I, I, from my home, I would have people come into the office of my home and that was okay. But then I was still, I would be traveling. So we would take our, our coaching sessions to the phone and, and all that. And I love meeting people in person. So I actually do have one program where we meet in person, but guess what's happened over the last three years. And I am so looking forward to meeting people in person again, mm -hmm. you know, so. <laughs> Because I, I run this, or I run, I operate this coaching session. It's called um, the intensive coaching session. And it's a half day with me in person. And, hmm. and that way I, I feel their energy. And so that's, that's key right there because I'm feeling their energy. We get so much deeper, so much faster. And mm -hmm. so that I haven't been able to do in the last three years, but I will be soon again, but given where I am, you know, it's, it'll happen a few months later after I'm not here anymore down here in the South with people who speak Spanish. So, <laughs> so anyway, then I just started traveling on for the winters, you know, leaving my, you know, snow covered, ice covered winter location. <laughs> and I would travel through the winter. And so I was going three months, four months away and so now, you know, I'm just, I'm away all the time. It really is. I know a lot of people have been, they've been forced to wrestle with what you navigated, you know, years and decades ago. And that the differences between the in-person interactions, the strengths and the weaknesses, and the telepresent or the digital interactions where you're on the phone, where it's just voices or like us right now, we're on Zoom. And so I can do like facial expressions and hand gestures to communicate, but we're still not you're still not getting like you can get some of the vibes but there's still like you like you correctly acknowledge there's no replacement for that in-person connection there's just there's a strength to it a profoundness to it a depth that you can go to that's just different but it is different not necessarily lesser and you can make significantly deep and profound connections with people who you've never quote unquote met before because you have met You've connected over whatever channels were available to you, phones. I mean, you know, in the day you can write letters to people. Pen pals <laughs> mm -hmm. has been has been a thing for quite a long time. It's different. It has its drawbacks, but it also has its benefits, like the fact that you can work and thrive, not just like keep treading water while you're like traveling the world. You can grow and thrive your business from anywhere using the tools we have at our disposal, including tactically whenever it's possible and whenever you can make it happen getting together and doing it the quote unquote old fashioned way, one to one in person, same room. Let's let's see what the other person's all about. Let's check out the body language and feel the the vibes in the room and like how we're going together. It's just I love the diversity of options we have to do the thing that we love to do. You know what I mean? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and yes, I mean, this is, this has been a benefit to even some of my clients and they're in the construction industry, right? So there's mm -hmm. one in particular who was really feeling the need to buy some big office space or business space, you know, with, with workshop and, and he's got all these components, but he's been able to do it in a way that works better for him and his administrator. And, you know, the workshops over there in another building on the other side of town. And he doesn't have to now because he, because everybody now can do pretty much everything from their own home. If they choose not to come in, most of them still choose to come in. But if they choose not to, or if they can't or whatever, you know, maybe they're sick, but they're not so sick that they can't work. But, mm -hmm. you know, so why go to work if you're not feeling well? This is what I've said to everybody for, you know, lots of years. <laughs> then I've been in business. You've been ahead of the curve for quite some time, it seems like. Uh, and that's... That, that is true, actually. Yeah. When it comes to <laughs> like being unwell, I would say to the receptionist, why are you here? I do not want to catch what you have. I yeah. have skiing. I have skiing plans for later in the week. Like you should be home. <laughs> Stay home sick so we can live and work well. That might yeah. be something like about that. <laughs> like that. Yeah, exactly. Like that. I'll workshop that. Lynn, I were already like, I know I I we talked for so long so early. I would I would love to I could I I honestly could do like one of those marathon three hour like Tim Ferris, Joe Rogan style podcasts where it's just like let's just chat for hours, but the whole point of this podcast is the short and the sweet. This has been too short, but definitely very sweet. Thank you for coming back on. I'm honestly, like, I, I might just hit you up again in like April or May and let's just do like a, a spring check-in because I free. love the way you communicate yourself. I love the way you're living your life and thriving in your business. And I love your stories. Some of the ones you told me, maybe I'll have, maybe I'll have you retell, I'll, I'll tease the audience here. Maybe I'll have you retell your New Year's 2022 story and how the waves come in and come out again. <laughs> the new year's 2023 story yes I, that's true I because it was that's right that's right it's all about that clock turn in that. well lynn again thank you so much I, thank you for being here today and also i want to reiterate this too thank you for being you I, I meant that when i said that before i record it really you really made my day and i feel like you've definitely brought a light to me and i, I appreciate that i'm able to help to bring that out in you because i if, if you had as delightful of a, a conversation as i did I feel great. <laughs> and, I, oh, and, and I have, and I have, and I'm serious that I, I don't get on a Zoom call with everybody and just start, you know, telling big stories and stuff like that. It's you who brings it out. So as I was saying before, you are partly to blame. <laughs> we I, share I accept it. that responsibility with gladness in my heart. <laughs> I will, we'll, we'll have you, I'll have you back on real soon. To the audience, you you know what this is. You love it. If you want to get to know more about Lynn, I mean, check out the, the podcast description. I'll have links to where to find her. LinkedIn, she's on. She's got the website. Find out more. Even if you're not, you know, in her, if, even if you're not like a, a construction worker or run a construction business, even if you're not necessarily right directly in line with her coaching business, do yourself a favor and just get to know Lynn a little bit if you have the opportunity. I can, I can speak from personal experience that you will not be sorry. So thank you to the audience for listening. Thank you, Lynn, one more time for being here. and. We'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you so much.